This is a video just to um, show and illustrate um, my having constructed this fursuit on a, a very limited budget. And so I thought, why don't I make a video? It's just a quick point and I said I did this sort of thing. I love doing tutorials, but that's down the road when I can get the details just right. So what you see here is uh, an ongoing progress of doing better and better and better. And what started, what I started with um, were these paws, but they were just the black Davos, um, Chirpa, which is like fleece, but it's very thick. And it was just one solid black thing, so I thought, well, why don't I try to tie it in with the um, future a fursuit body and the arms that I had made at the time and I thought why don't I use this fur between the black and the tan colored sleeve. Uh, it kind of looks more like a cuff on a coat or something like that but that's okay. Um, the rest of this was not done at that time and we'll do this as a sequence because this is from beginner to end. This had a lot of broken stitches, so it was redone, and fingers and so forth were redone. I did not create this from scratch. So then, after having done this, actually half the distance, uh, and then made up the sleeves to go with it, heading towards a partial, I then started work on the head. Again, using this fur, originally to fur the entire head, shaving it with my... <laughs> My haircut um, kit uh, down for the short hair for the muzzle and long for the back, but it was in pieces because I did not get a full uh, from the front from a, a fellow fur or the full um, amount of fur in one big piece. I just got some scraps, and so that hence the scars, which work great because a lion usually gets scars. And it just didn't look like it looked like a bear. I had done these ears, and but they didn't have anything else in them. So then um, it's hard to remember what the next thing was. I'd made the other foot paws. They were the same shoe, slip-on shoes that I based the old one on. And had furred it, had carved a little bit of foam for the toes, and then furred in some cheap black stuff because this is going to be something you're walking on the ground. So why not make it semi rugged and not worry about it? Ugly as all get out. So those have been destroyed. But then I still had those at the time. And you'll see them in the old photos on my Fur Affinity account. Then Finally, having foot paws, hand paws, and a head, it was time to move on to the body because I absolutely had to have a body. It hides completely me, the old Randy Garrett, and out comes Excelsior. And so I finally, um, on the first of the month, went to a fabric store in Berkeley and was all sorts of random furs there, wonderful, beautiful stuff, great bargains. And I saw this was just the right color. And it's called Davos, a slightly furrier than uh, a normal fleece. So it's, its length and so forth is in between the Sherpa and fleece. And so I thought, hey, this would be great. So I got three yards of it, originally thinking, no, it would only do the shirt, because I'm a, a large person. As it turns out, three yards did the whole thing. I had miscalculated when I was figuring out how, figuring out how much I needed. So I started hand-stitching. I, I keep forgetting to tell everybody. This was hand-stitched. The fur on the um, previous foot paws was both stitching from above the sole on them the, from the, above the sole up to here was hand stitched with a little bit of fur up there and the, the stuff I put on the sole was glued on with hot glue 
now uh, so then um, I was hand stitched this entire body but I had um, made patterns I think just for the shirt and then I got it wrong it was a little bit large plus I just sort of more ad hoc on the pants and not having worn overalls coveralls I did not know about um, how they worked I thought you know well it's because of my fat butt I uh, think of it as you know in mechanics I have had a mechanics background in uh, uh, manufacturing like that is that this is the belt line here and I'll turn it this direction and as you bend over the bottom expands so you got this extra diameter material so I cut extra stuff so it was down here and just dragging but bending over and everything like that it wasn't needed I didn't realize so that's where a lot of these um, um, scenes show up is because I kept adjusting it pulling up shortening it up uh, and then decreasing the diameter a little bit trying to get the legs just right I should have measured twice cut once and made a good good solid pattern but the nice thing is with this cheap you know, this affordable Davos material I could use it to refine the fit and make patterns so it's really working out great so I've got a fursuit body but I've been making adjustments when it was just one single color I thought no that didn't look right came up with a white belly so like a lot of others have did this and still making adjustments and of course some people not having the greatest eyes in the world don't notice there's a zipper where is it right here down the middle it's one of those hidden zippers where the cloth of the zipper itself goes right across the opening and the the, the uh, mechanism goes through it so you have the cloth covering the zipper itself and so it made a nice hidden zipper um, I'm not sure I think this camera is going to run out of tape and part one best I got for a clapper